Happy Earth Day, friends. Welcome back to my channel. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and happy Monday. If you are new here or just stopping by, hello. My name is Kristen Martin. I'm an international Amazon best-selling indie author, a writing and business success coach, a YouTuber, a podcaster, and when you put all of that together, I am what you would call a creative entrepreneur. Before we get into today's video, let's address the elephant in the room. My hair is completely different. It is purple. Although if you follow me on Instagram, shameless plug, I'll leave it right here, you already knew that I dyed my hair purple at the beginning of April. I know I'm going to get this question, so I'm going to answer it really quickly, but I used the Arctic Fox brand hair dye in the color Purple Rain, and my hair, you can see it in past videos like the one the vlog that I had last week where my hair kind of had that in between like weird light brown, orange, like rose gold phase. That's what color my hair was before I put the this dye onto it. But what I love about Arctic Fox, not sponsored or anything, but they are vegan and cruelty free. While it did stain my hands just a little bit, that was the only negative thing because I absolutely love the color. It's really fun. My birthday is in a couple of weeks, so I just thought it would be I don't know, I just wanted something different and I've always wanted purple hair. So here we are. I am really excited to bring today's video to you because I'm going to be sharing the seven things I did in preparing to leave my full-time job. And speaking of leaving full-time jobs, if you are an aspiring creative entrepreneur and you are ready to earn passive income by launching a passion-fueled online business, then my signature business program called Elevate is definitely for you. Enrollment opens today, April 22nd, but it will only be open for one week through Monday, April 29th. To get more details and sign up, make sure to check out the link in the description box below. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about these seven things I did in preparing to leave my full-time job. So first and foremost, before you leave your full-time job, it's probably a good idea to know what you're going to do next aka have a plan. Unless you have specifically set aside money to take a little bit of time off, it's great to have a plan and to know what your income stream is going to be. For me personally, I waited until my business was consistently earning as much, if not more, for six consecutive months. This also depends on whether you're going to go the entrepreneurial route or if you're going to find a different job. Either way, it's good to have a plan and to know where your future income Will be coming from. Number two, check company policy. And this is something I would do four to eight months before you're thinking about resigning. Is two weeks notice required or is it just customary? Are you expected to find someone to fill your shoes and help them transition into that new role? What are the options with your 401k if you have one? What are your insurance options after you resign? Will you participate in COBRA or will you go with an independent healthcare provider? Checking company policy will help you fine tune your plan so that way you can minimize any speed bumps that might come up during the resignation process. Number three, review your contract and or job stipulations. If your company has a bonus program, what are the rules around that? How long do you have to be employed in order to get your bonus? Do you have a company phone or a company vehicle? It might be a good time to start looking into how much this is going to cost in terms of getting your own phone and your own car, because at some point you're not going to have these anymore. Number four is to set up some preliminary discussions with HR. So after you've done all your research after you've made a plan you've checked company policy you've looked into your contract and your job stipulations if you have any concerns or questions now is a good time to set up a preliminary meeting with HR conversations with HR are kept confidential so you don't have to worry about going in there and expressing how you're feeling and what you're thinking about doing it's good to have all the details figured out so you can feel confident when it comes time to resign number five is to choose a resignation date and write your resignation letter in choosing your resignation date I would suggest having it fall on a Friday preferably payday. This is because resigning at the beginning of the week makes the weekend prior just miserable because you're just, you're waiting and waiting and waiting to resign. And if you do it in the middle of the week, again, that's just awkward. Friday is the best time because you get through the week, you're paid, and then it's just a clean break so you can go into your weekend 
with no ties. I would also recommend printing out and signing two copies of your resignation letter, one to give to HR and one to give to your supervisor. And maybe a backup copy just in case, you never know. So steps one through five are all things that I would do about four to eight months prior. So let's talk about what to do the week of. Number six, schedule separate meetings with HR and your supervisor. This is pretty self-explanatory, but I would recommend scheduling those meetings around 10 a.m. You don't wanna do it too early in case someone is running late, but you also don't wanna do it later in the afternoon or around lunchtime, again, because people are normally out to lunch. And also you don't wanna be working throughout the day because what are you working on? You're, you're about to quit. So scheduling your resignation meetings in the morning around 10 a.m. is ideal. And number seven, also the week of, wipe your computer. Make sure you take the time to clear your cache and cookies, like your browser history, saved passwords, bookmarks, all that kind of stuff. Also, if you have any personal files on your work computer, make sure to transfer those to an external hard drive or flash drive. I'd also suggest doing a sweep around your house to make sure you don't have any company equipment lying around. I know when I was in sales, I had a home base set up or like a home workstation. So I had monitors, keyboards, a docking station for my laptop. Make sure you gather all of that company equipment to bring with you. Okay, so you are prepped. You have your resignation letter in hand and the day is here. The day that you are quitting finally arrives. So what do you do? First tip, don't arrive too early because then you're just gonna be twiddling your thumbs. This is exactly why I mentioned scheduling your meetings around 10 o'clock in the morning. Now this is up to you, but I told my team first before I went into my meetings with HR and my supervisor to let them know that that day was going to be my last day. Some people may not agree with that, but you always wanna be prepared for the worst case scenario. And in sitting down with your supervisor, I think the worst case scenario would be that you are walked out and you don't really get to say goodbye to anyone or thank them or show your appreciation in working with them. You can't predict the reaction, so make sure you say your goodbyes first. I scheduled my HR meeting first and then my meeting with my supervisor. At the HR meeting, I handed in my laptop, I handed in my building access cards, and I got the final details on vacation time payout, bonus payout, as well as health insurance information. Also make sure that your home address is correct in the system because that is where the company will be mailing all of those materials to you. And lastly, meet with your supervisor, hand in your resignation letter, and resign. Doing things in this order ensures that your goodbyes are already taken care of, that everything is handed in, so that way you can just walk away unburdened and free. Because I knew I would be making this video at some point in the future, I had the good sense to bring my camera along with me on my resignation day. So we're gonna go ahead and roll into a little bit of that footage so you can see exactly how I was feeling. 8.20 in the morning, I I'm about to quit my job. <laughs> that feels so surreal to say that. Um, I thought I would be really, really nervous, but I'm actually just excited. And I know this is the right time. Like I woke up this morning and with every fiber of my being, I knew that it was my time. It was time to go. <sighs> it was crazy, you know, waking up this morning and putting on like a corporate outfit for the last time. And that's just what I kept thinking about was, this is the last time I'm gonna have to drive in rush hour traffic. This is the last time I'm gonna get dressed like this or have to shower the night before and do my hair ahead of time because I don't like waking up super early. It just adds a lot to my day. And just the last time I'll make this drive over there to this office and the last time I'll walk into this building and it's just so surreal because I've wanted this for so long and I've wanted to quit for so many years prior and my emotions would get the better of me and I would write the resignation letter and I would kind of work myself up in my head to do it. I'm like, okay, I'm going to do it. And then there was just something in me that wouldn't let me do it. Like it just kept saying, it's not the right time. It's not the right time. This is not the time yet. You will know when the right time is. And I'm just so grateful that I listened to myself because I am now in a situation where I don't need this job anymore and my business provides it's exceeded my corporate income so the fact that I've built something from the ground up I don't want to get super emotional um, because I want to be able to go into the office and 
give my resignation letter and walk out and then if the tears are going to come or whatever the emotions are you know I'll let them come then but I want to be I just I'm just <laughs> I'm just so happy today so um I'm going to turn on some good tunes get on the road because it is now 8 23 and I need to try to get to the office by 9 15 so I can start taking care of stuff but my first meeting is with HR and then right after that I have a meeting with my boss it's just the right time so here we go and I will let you know pop back on here once it actually happens <laughs> 10 30 and I did it I did it <laughs> oh my gosh I am no longer employed Trying to just like process how I'm feeling. I said what I needed to say and that's it. So I am officially free, free from a corporate setting. I get to fully step into my truth and do everything full time without thinking about, without thinking about this other job and having any kind of like nagging, like, oh, you need to check this, oh, you need to check this in the back of my head. I don't think it's like fully sunken in yet, so, um, but I think as I'm driving away from here, it will. <laughs> I did it. So that is it. That is all I have for you today for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up to support my channel. And don't forget to click that subscribe button as well as that little bell. That will send you email notifications to your inbox whenever I upload new videos. There will also be a very special podcast episode heading your way this Thursday, April 25th. It's episode 66 and it's one that I recorded right before I was getting ready to leave my full-time job. So in case you don't know, I do have a podcast. It's called That Smart Hustle and is now available to listen on iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, and SoundCloud. You can find all of those links in the description box below. Don't forget to check out my signature business program called Elevate. Again, it is open for enrollment starting today, April 22nd through Monday, April 29th. You can find the link to learn more in the description box below. One more quick announcement before I sign off. I will be attending BookCon again this year as an author and an exhibitor. I will be in booth number 3025 selling and signing copies of all of my books. So I really hope to see you there. Tickets are on sale now at bookcon.com slash tickets. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you so much and I will see you in next week's video. Bye.